what's going on is anton from antondaniels.com i appreciate you guys for continuing to rock with me what about those lions those lions is out there killing it ain't they man i was so impressed and i know it was a lot of detroiters that headed down to houston for that game and i'm glad that they wasn't disappointed and we can come back with the victory in addition to that i am hiring over here uh in detroit and I'm basically looking for a producer slash editor slash content creation manager in a sense, right? So it's a position that's all rolled into one, but it pays a lot of money. So I pay six figures. All of my people that work for me, they get to the bag, but I get to that in the Millionaire Morning Show. So make sure y'all tap into the Millionaire Morning Show uh, and then also on top of that, Teach Henley, 40% off your first order plus 20% off of life. We got Stock Club today. That is in the Patreon. Link is in the description. And then get your tickets to come and kick it with me in person. And that discount code Anton is in the description. So make sure you leverage that. Anyways, aside from that, that's not even what I wanted to talk about, but I had to get the housekeeping out of the way. What is up with all of these women shaving their heads and looking like me? I'm seeing a lot of people send me videos in my email of women that are shaving their heads and protest of what is going on in America right now. And say, what I'm saying is what's going on in America is obviously we know what happened with the election, right? We know that Trump absolutely mollywopped Kamala Harris. It's a lot of sore losers. So it's a lot of people that's projecting their insecurities. And that's the thing that they like to say about uh, the people on the right, but the left has become even more divisive. And instead of them taking their L and then benefiting from this phenomenal economy that we are about to engage in and getting out of these wars and closing off our borders so where we can have illegal migration. And one of the reasons why this whole immigration issue is upsetting for a lot of people and including a lot of people that feel like they need to be here or, oh man, I need to you know, get my visa, my application process, I might not be here, is because so many people got into this place illegally in the first place. And if so many people didn't get into this place illegally, then we wouldn't be having all of these different sets of rules trying to accommodate people that feel like just because they've been here for a while, that they deserve to be here. That's not how uh, stability and, and logic and, and legal migration into this country is supposed to work. And so now you got a lot of people that feel like they're entitled to what our taxpayer dollars are supposed to be supporting when in reality, you need to blame your parents for doing it the wrong way. You need to hold them accountable for coming over here and putting you in a situation that may or may not be upsetting and up in whatever, whatever it is that you got going on in your life. And so, you know, y'all wanna get mad at us for enforcing a law and making sure that, that we doing the right things and you cannot have 10, 20, and 23 million people coming over in one administration illegally, especially during a time where we supposed to close off our borders. I was listening to the Canadian prime minister, right? And the Canadian prime minister was basically saying, listen, it's a lot of people that's trying to act like they want to come over to Canada, which Canada has its flaws, it has its pros, it has its cons, but they saying a lot of people saying that they want to come over to Canada but let me tell you something, we enforce our borders and we gonna pick who's supposed to be here or who not supposed to be here. And that should tell you something because the United States of America is one of the rare countries that you can just do what you wanna do when you wanna do it and you can get away with it and feel entitled as a result of it. But that don't fly in other places. And most other places, they hold you accountable. Walk over there and do something that you ain't supposed to do if you, if you want to, they'll never hear from you again. You'll be in an internment camp for real, but we feel like we can just accommodate people and they take advantage of it. And so that's what you see. And so as a result of taking that L, you see a lot of people that's basically protesting. Long as you do it peacefully, go ahead and keep shaving your head. Because you're not hurting nobody but yourself, but they're protesting. And one of the ways in which they're protesting, let me tell you how these nutcases operate, right? They say, well, listen, we're going to shave our heads and stop giving up the box to men as a form of protest so they can understand our power as women. These people are crazy, bro. They are insane. Most of them are older women. 
So that cat then already be, been meowed out, right? Most of them are older women. Uh, the rest of them are what I like to call undesirables. And I'm not saying undesirable because of the way you look. I'm saying undesirable because of the way you think. Why would somebody want to be around that type of energy? You know what I'm saying? And then the rest of them was already getting boxed anyway. So it was already scissor kicking. It was already munch munching. And so we don't even have to get into that nonsense. The point that I'm making is that sore loserdom affects nobody except the losers. The winners go on with their life. They continue to press forward with whatever their agenda is, and they don't get into all of that nonsense. And so y'all need to learn how to take your L gracefully, read the room, understand what you did wrong, and then realize the error of your ways and thinking that we were supposed to care more about the fact that you wanted unwanted babies as a form of contraception instead of having better economic power. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't care how much you scissor kick. If, if you are munch munching all day long, that has no bearing on my life. Now, what I don't want you to do is to press it upon me and my daughters and forcing us to pay for your lifestyle or to advocate for it in our schools or to pass laws that then validate bad behavior and then using taxpayer dollars in order to justify your behavior. That's unacceptable. And more importantly, I would like our resources and our legislators to spend more time on the things that actually affected American people and that we can't control like wars and not things that we can't control like who you open up your legs to. You know what I'm saying? Nobody is telling you that you gotta operate under Sharia law. Nobody is telling you that you have to become a Christian. Nobody cares about what your life is. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing well, how you doing? Nobody cares about how you live your life. You know what I'm saying? But what we do care about is whether or not you press it upon your ways to us. And I'm trying to tell you that that ain't gonna fly here in America. Listen, we are a republic. We are governed by the Constitution. I love the fact that Trump is speaking about free speech and not, get, not getting into censorship. I also like the fact that he got Elon Musk and Elon Musk had bought Twitter, which then allowed for us to really get to the facts and the real. I also love everybody that's a part of the Republican Party. And I think that there's some Democrats that's pretty cool too. I just think that they're, they're way too left, way too radical, and we need to get back to the core. Getting back to who we are seems radical for people that are irrational. Listen to what I'm saying. Getting back to the core of who we are as America seems radical to people that are incredibly irrational. And so you got to get your life together. We got to stop running in the Victim Olympics. Stop blaming everybody else for your problems. And let's spend our tax dollars focused on the things that's best for everybody instead of just, you know, focus on things that's best for that you think is best for you, but that you're gonna wind up regretting later on in life. That's my stance, I'm sticking to it. Keep your hair on your heads. You don't wanna look like a little boy. Don't nobody want a little boy. <laughs> it's crazy. Listen, I love y'all, I appreciate y'all. Again, make sure y'all tap into the Patreon, link is in the description. Also, teach Henley, 40% off your first order, 20% off of life, and then last but not least, make sure that you get your tickets to come and see me, December 14th. December 14th here in Detroit uh, and again I'll go over all of the details uh, of the position that I'm hiring for um, on the Millionaire Morning Show I'll spend a little bit of time on that before we get in the stock club right after that and uh, it's gonna be dope it's gonna be absolutely a hoot of a time man I love that building I don't think I've ever been in there of all of the buildings that I've been here downtown so you see this place I say the siren across the street right here right next to it. I don't know what the hell that is. I definitely ain't never been in there. But then it goes up like that. I love those buildings. And then you see the Hudson's, the newest one right there that I always talk about. That's yeah, pretty dope. So things are changing. Life is good. I love you. I appreciate you. Don't run into Victim Olympics. Please don't run into Victim Olympics.